we are at the place where we finished the touring part, right? We went through that Candyland board, we got to the last step, and we're bringing our tour back to our common room, to the great room or the sitting room, wherever you're running your kind of home base on this. And really it goes back to this is what their expectations are. We just completed most of it, we just showed them the building, now they think I'm gonna get my touring packet and I'm gonna learn about the pricing and then I'm gonna go on my way. So let's continue solving or, or our front-sided expectations of meeting their expectations while we have our back-sided expectations of we are solving the problem and we are, uh, we are solving their pain and we are going to make our offer here. So we have gone through the whole maze of the building step by step. We have learned the pain. We have given our rebuttal how we're going to customize our care plan for them to solve the pain to the resident specifically and to the family specifically. And sometimes it's really easy and they just blah, here's everything and it's like, cool, I can do this, this, and this for you, no worries. And sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. Sometimes they are um, not wanting to communicate so much. And that is what it is, right? Your job is not to nail it every single time. Your job is to nail it on the ones that are ready to close and that are really in that environment where they do have that pain and sometimes they're just not ready for you. They're, sometimes they're just secret shopping, sometimes they're just investigating. And you know what? Those are unclosable deals. But the ones that are closable, this is the structure that you use to be able to close those. So we're solving both sides of the pain here. And then on the next slide, we're really transitioning into our offer. So I think this is at least the way that I do it and we'll, we'll have even Mandy go. But I like to have just a very low pressure, very chill offer, and this is really what it looks like for me. And assuming that their loved one that they've described that we've been talking about for 30 plus minutes is a good fit, I'd say something like this. You know what, I, I would love to be able to take care of your mom. She sounds like a great fit for us here at Platinum Resort. Here's really what we do. And we'd create a custom care plan. You know, we talked about her medication needs, so we would do it like this and this. We talked about how she's not really eating much right now, so we're gonna have Ricky meet her and, and hear about, and about what she likes, and we'll, we'll be able to make food that she's really excited about eating. And then we'll be able to come and pull her out of her room every morning. We're gonna help her pick her clothes, and her, we'll get her, her face routine ready and brush her teeth and all that kind of stuff. And then we're gonna encourage her to meet some of these grandmas. I know these, these three ladies right here, she'll connect really well with them. And I'm really excited to, to bring her into the mix, and we'll do activities every single morning. And so whatever example it is, I'm solving pain, 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 right? You can mix any of the 20 different things that we talk through in this example, but I'm saying here's the structure. I think this is a great fit. I would love to take care of your mom, and we're gonna do X, Y, and Z for her, your mom. X, Y, and Z are all pain points that we have specifically solved and that we can specifically solve. Don't lie about it. If you can't do that, then that's not a good fit. But if it is a good fit, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna list pain, 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 solution to all of these different things on the resident and then tie that back in so that it puts you in this place where we're solving family's pain, where you can come visit whenever you feel like now, that you can be the daughter again, you can be the husband again. We're gonna take that responsibility. You told me about how hard it is to get the medications right and work with the doctors and all the things you're doing. I'm great at that, that's my full-time job. I can do that for you. You can come in and spend quality time and we'll have a great, calm, and safe place for your mom to do that. I think she would be a great fit here. What do you think? That is literally my offer right there. What do you think? That's the offer part, that's the question. Nothing crazy salesy. I had set the stage with here's my offer, here's what we're gonna do by solving your pain. I would love to take care of your mom. I think she's gonna be a great fit here. What do you think? And that's really my offer. Do you, do you think this is a good fit? And then I just, I stop and I leave it there to them. And honestly, most times they say, yeah, I wanna move mom in. Not because of what my offer said, not because of the crafty wording or anything like that. It is because everything that I did not say. It is because of everything that we showed. It is not because of the salesperson. It is because of the work that they did investing in our staff, investing in our caregivers and our chef and the environment, and honestly, firing a lot of bad people. That's all a lot of what this is, is firing bad people, investing in good people, and just showing what it is, how we love genuinely and serve those parents. Mm -hmm. So what does your, your offer look like to either of you? Um, so 
most of them are ready before you end the tour. They want to know like, okay, what do I got to do? But for others that are just, you know, like not telling me like, okay, this is it. This is where I want to be. Um, at the end of the tour, we go back into the living room. I start walking them towards the door, letting them know like, okay, that's it. I've shown you everything. I've given you all I've got. Um, and I just tell them like, all right, I got a few things for you. You know, I'll get all our, um, little pamphlets and things for them. Um, let them know, like, I'm here for you. Here's my card. You can, um, call me, you can email me if you have any other questions that come up. Um, uh, make sure that they, you know, ask them at the end, like, do you have any more questions? Um, and pretty much like give them a little timeline too. Um, a lot of them are going to ask like, okay, well, um, if we don't have anything available, when will you have any? So then you start to know like, okay, they want the room, like let's move forward and things. Or, um, you know, how long do you think this room will be available? You only have one letting them know the truth. Like, do you have another tour later, you know, or whatever it is. Um, and kind of just go from there with them. Some of them take all the pamphlets and everything and they still, you know, don't give you an answer and they walk out the door and then an hour later they call you. <laughs> They're like, okay, never mind. I want to come back. Um, so, and then others call you days later, but, um, it's definitely just not, selling them just letting them know like here's my information that that's how I do it here's my information here's what I can do for you let me know how I can help you or you know when you're ready I'm here what about you Eva do you have a different approach <laughs> um no I pretty much I think it's different with everybody um kind of like many said it depends on the energy um in the room during that time <laughs> um but um for the ones who are already know, you can, you can kind of feel, okay, they're going to call back in an hour. Usually they say, I'm going to need to talk to my husband or I'm going to need to talk to my sister. Um, and then for the ones who are not, haven't made the decision yet or they're still shopping around, um, they usually will tell you, I'm still um, shopping around, I'm still going to look. I mean, I will let them know they can not going to find nobody better than us. But <laughs> <laughs> so you can go try, but um, I'll throw that in there too. Um, <laughs> and encouraging them, encouraging them like, yes, um, go tour other but, places. But um, I kind of also put a little pressure on them. I mean, I do let them know. I was like, we usually do not have an open room. Like, if we have an open room longer than two or three days, that is, it's, uncommon. This so, must be. <laughs> it's it meant is, to be for you. <laughs> um, and um, I, I mean, even if I do not have a tour the same day, I do let them know I have a tour that same day. It's just because <laughs> 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 I usually have one the next day. So um, just kind of like, yeah, you know, not, I'm not being pushy, but I was just letting them know. I was like, um, Look, maybe that's supposed to be, you know, no, no, usually we do not have a room open and I cannot make you any promise when the next room will be available because it could be six months, it could be a year from now. Yes, it could be next week. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. So that's a good point there. Let's talk about scarcity and urgency. So scarcity, there is a limited supply, right? This is what we're talking about. We have one room available. And honestly, once you're open, you don't sell that many rooms. We have a, a six bed or 16 bed. It's not that often. We had, what, five open rooms in 2023 that came available? Six? Maybe, maybe five or six, yeah. So we'll find out at the end of this yeah. year uh, what that looks like. But there's not a lot of opportunity for them to get in, right? Like, this is your chance. This is, you are the lucky one, right? Like, you happen to tour at the right time. That is scarcity. Right, so make it real. You know, we only have one room available. Or when you're under construction, right, this, we use the same kind of thing. Hey, we have a lot of people coming where we're selling through these rooms. There's a lot of deposits on these rooms. Or real, be real and genuine. And you know, we have a lot of interest here. We're getting a lot of calls. We're getting a lot of tours, right? I, I think we're gonna sell all of these rooms. We're gonna get deposits on these things quickly. So urgency, right, is you need to act now. Right now is the time. I want you to sign. I want you to write the check now, assuming this is a good fit. Because a lot of times we might just say, eh, I don't really like this daughter. She's kind of a pain in the ass, right? Like, we did that too. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't need that right now. <laughs> well, 
Well, right. that's another thing when it comes to urgency. Um, and it depends on how urgent are you going to make this for this person, right? Um, are they really a good fit for your home? Um, yeah, that's definitely going to depend.